Welcome, y'all, to our Rankin County Board of Supervisors, May 13th meeting. Uh, I'm going to call this meeting to order. Craig, would you say our invocation, please? We do need some guidance, I imagine. <laughs> Craig. Do we have an agenda? Yes. There's no need to sit down, Craig. You're, oh, you want me to go ahead? You're right, right out of the shoe. <laughs> it's, uh, it's my pleasure, my honor, my privilege uh, to welcome uh, Mr. Steve Eds and Mr. Lynn Norris here today so that the board can have a discussion on the potential for a bond issue. We've been talking about this for quite some time. One idea that we had about how to get going here this morning is to talk first about the financial <coughs> arrangements or the financial aspects associated with the bond. Uh, you may actually hear some things this morning uh, that, um, that will have an impact on your later discussions. And so we felt like it would be the better part of wisdom is to start with the financial side of this first and let Mr. Lynn Norris come forward and give you guys an, a little bit of an update on the proposal itself uh, and some numbers that may, in fact, impact your later discussion. So you're saying it's a little too late to propose uh, moving forward with what we have now? No, sir, it's not. I, I just think that you, what okay. you need to hear is okay. that some of the... Well, wait and hear it out. Some of the implications with respect to the financing may be different from what you have heard previously and that may impact your later discussions oh boy how about just that doesn't sound good throwing that <laughs> <out>. <laughs> monday morning we should met tuesday <laughs> well i got several scenarios let me find the one that I think you'll be the most interested in here. Uh, had it just a minute ago. Yep. Arthritis. Let's turn that mic coming. Yes, you got graduation mark. Out. Out. They just went in and made decisions. Really good. Get that, that type so small you can't really read it. Yeah. You don't know what you're looking at. Braille. Yeah. You need Braille down there. <laughs> exactly. You know that? Here, I'll pass these around. Y'all go and admit it. You need a pair of them. Well, Mine's at 200, but I'm on, I, I need to go up. 250 is too strong, 200 is too weak, and I can't find the 225 at Walmart. Man, I've got it. Walmart. <laughs> they got them. Uh, all right. Looking at, we've looked at, you know, limited offering to the banks, and, and they're good. You know, that's 
Thanks are good sometimes. Hang on, before we go any further, I want to ask a question. If we were to go straight to a bank and offer them a deal and say, hey, we want to, you know, uh, offer you, you know, $15 million and they do us a straight line, you know, loan. That cuts out government consultants, cuts out Butler Snow, cuts out Craig's fee. We, we minus all that. Is that correct? Well, if you could legally do that, yes. but you can't legally do that. All right. Jay's not worried about that. <laughs> okay. That's uh, just right. a minor thing, isn't it? Well, no, I had actually a, a, a bank president called me this weekend wanting me to do that very thing. Yeah. So, obviously he didn't know that, or either he didn't care, one. He will know when his regulators come in and tell him that is not a proper loan. Because up until then, I've always heard, like, I'm assuming we're going to go with, with Remy James and, and they're going to sell the bonds to the banks at that point, and they're still not going to take a loss. Am I wrong? Well, sometimes they'll lose if they, on, on a, uh, competitive deals and even on under you know, on underwritten deals uh, okay. they they take down bonds in anticipation of reselling those bonds at least what they gave for them and sometimes that does not work because market changes uh, but you know there was a it's it's kind of an ebb and flow in the market at, at one time this year, bank short-term bank deals. If you could get a deal, you know, under 12 years, it could. Those at that month or two window that we had this year, bank deals was better than underwritten deals. But now the market has flipped. I mean, it's the 10-year started off today at a 242. The the 30-year is at a 286. The two year was is a two twenty one, I believe, two twenty two. So we're in, we're you know, your your two year rates are higher than your five year rates. One or two basis points, but it's kinda you got that inversion there. You got the ten year back probably earlier this year was at a three fifty, or right under a three fifty. So it's uh, to, we're in a time frame to really look at issuing premium bonds, and this is where an underwriter comes in, and, and there's a market out there to take a five percent coupon issue. You'll, you'll be paying interest rates on on the five percent, but you're going to generate over three million dollars more than likely in premium bonds. And that's what this shows here is, is, kind of, is how much you'd be doing on a, on a 15 year. So the market is better today on an underwritten deal than, than it is on a bank. On a bank up. Now that could change, and we hadn't gone out to get term sheets from the banks. We don't know. The, looking back at, at two current deals, uh, a 12-year deal went limited bank offerings or 327. A uh, month or two later past that deal, I think there's a little lag in there. A 12-year deal went for a 290. So you just don't know. Banks are unpredictable too. You know, it's, so. So you're saying going with a premium bond, doing this, what you're just saying? You're right. Well, what would we actually got to stop. stop. So let uh, him go ahead and do his presentation. Jay stopped him with a question. Uh, he yeah. never really got started. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> In, any other? <laughs> Have I confused you enough? <laughs> okay. Just move on forward. Well, all right. We're looking at here a 15-year underwritten, uh, underwritten deal. Uh, 
Raymond James uh, is, uh, you know, provided the the rates, the premium rates. Well, this is uh, uh, and I have a little more conservative one right here, but you could you could generate. Three hundred, I mean, three thirty million dollars under this scenario. Three million. Yeah. Three million. Three million. Yeah, you said thirty. Yeah. Three yeah. Million. Mm -hmm. Net to project, thirty million net 30 to project. Thirty million dollars. Thirty yeah. million is what he said. Oh, that's from <laughs> thirty million dollars net to county. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I said that you needed to hear the financial aspects mm -hmm. of this based on the latest data because it could impact your other decisions that you need to make. Everybody on the same page? We've been talking about something totally different than what's happening yeah. right here because yeah. we didn't know that the, the market was going to be able to generate from that village impact and with a conservative growth estimate, we did not know at that time what it could generate from, a, from the bond revenue side. So now you know. Hmm. Now this contemplates the reallocation of the millage for two years. <laughs> right. And I'll refer to it, it, any projects that's, that the, the road department is doing that qualifies for being able to spend bond proceeds for, you can use these funds for that purpose. help you guys if it's if it's a road project and it's Steve help me if it's within a close enough in time time frame from the date of issuance then the expenses that have been put that have been paid toward those road projects conceivably can be reimbursed from bond proceeds as long as there's eligibility there you say time frame what is that time frame well I'm gonna 60 days from the date you adopt the bond resolution. So we're, so some so of we're, these, we're out of block of hobby bush, I guess. Yes. If it's mm -hmm. an ongoing project, with, again, we're going to defer to bond council to help us evaluate precisely what can count and what can't. But I would at least like to start with the position that if it's an ongoing project, an active project within that time frame, then we want to talk about reimbursing the project. Can, can I ask a question on, that's specific to Holly Bush Road? We have not finalized it. We're very near. Would we be able to go back just 60 days on the monies we've spent, or would we be able to go back for the whole project? Have, what, what have you spent? Money on engineering? Oh, yeah. I mean, engineering it's almost complete. Hmm? Yes, so it's sir. almost complete. Yes. Yeah. It can you, only go you, back six months. If you require right away that would not be reimbursable, would any type of engineering could go back in front? I mean, the 60 days would not affect your ability to, to reimburse yourself for those engineering costs. Even if it was a year ago, the engineering? Correct. Hmm. Oh, I thought it was six months was the cap. Not for engineering, but for actual construction costs is 60 days. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So the same thing would apply to like uh, Gunner Road? Gunner Road, yep. Right of way acquisition? With no, no right of way. I don't think right of way is qualified. No, right of way, it's just really planning. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Will you <laughs> explain that a little more about how this will generate $30 million? Uh, you, you're issuing a 5% cube, and the buyer of that bond is going to pay, instead of a par, we'll say that bond uh, uh, is $1,000. Well, he may pay $1,250 for that bond. That is your money. That excess is your money. To, and it accumulates from three to five to six million dollars depending on what the interest rates are at that time. The treasury rates, the 
at fund rates. These are kind of the, the you know, the baselines that people look at what alternative investments that they can get. They know th these bonds that have a call date, so they know their uh, investment is protected to the call date. So, and that's how you generate the money from the premium is the difference between the interest rate that you're paying, the 5%, and the yield that the investor is earning on, on, on his money. So he's willing to pay more money in today's market because over that 10-year period or whatever period, he's going to earn a lot more money than he would. Right. We're fortunate to be in a position where there's, there's not a lot of really good competition for good investments. We are a good investment, and it's hard to find in the market as good of investments, so they're willing to pay a premium to be able to invest with us. That's I guess that's why Mr. Sullivan has joined us today to kind of help vouch for our ad valorem growth or where we, where we are here today and the assumptions that we're going to utilize in this bond issue. Is that why you're joining us? And I'm all leaders. <laughs> Oh, John's involved in this question? Come on in there, John. Come on in there, baby. We're at the stage here in Richmond County that we're going to have to raise the military. I know y'all don't want to hear it, but it's inevitable. It, it's here. What made you make that statement? Huh? What, what, what brought you that that conclusion? On the growth of the assessed value, what, what are you projecting? Maybe one to two percent. There's a one and a half percent projection in these numbers. Okay. This will delay the inevitable. Well, uh, and I'm not surprised. Did we say that? It, if you go buy a gallon of milk and go back five or ten years later, you're not going to pay the same thing for it. And, and that's something we'll have to address. But uh, I, I say we will have to address that whether we do this or not. Yeah. What do you say, John? I said, I said it last time we were here. Mm -hmm. You know, that you're going to need to raise taxes. And now's the time. You're the only one in the, in the crosshairs because you've got a, a November opponent, you know, and that's just going to come into play. Uh, but now's the time to do it. Everybody knows that's when you, when you right when you go into the new, new term, you go ahead and just bite the bullet, and then hopefully everything continues to move forward and grow, and everybody gets more money in their pocket and don't really pay attention. Well, when we did it uh, some years ago, we actually knew that was like everything else. It's things. Get yeah. more expensive, and they are. It's going to have to be what, have, years, if you want to keep since we raised taxes. Right, if you want to keep doing side. things, keep the you know crack out and growing. That's what it is. <coughs> and what I found, most people, as long as they see where they're going, they're they're not as hard. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm like, I, I'm for not uh, <laughs> raising taxes at this time. Well, I am too. <laughs> Hey, John, the thing that made me question is you hear all these cities talking about all their, you know, tax revenues up, and I know some of it sales tax, but some of those have one too. Why are we not benefiting from, like, Brown Bobbin? You know, Brandon's beating on their chest. They're fixing to get a war, you know, war chest coming out of that. And we're on the same length as them. Uh, I know that's just one little speck in the county. Well, you I think the mayor. I, I think the mayor said they were tasked to spend what a six hundred thousand dollar bump in Avalora, <clears throat> about a hundred and thirty from Pepsi, and the rest come from all those houses that have been built. You know, in the city, are finally coming online. Uh, hey, I, I just want you to know we're on the same team. Okay. <laughs> all right. Good. 
Much we, better than I did last time. All right. <laughs> Well, let me ask you this. Uh, I thought of this. Let's say, uh, okay, on the Gunner Road extension, we're, we're good on it, except for about three hundred thousand dollars. Wait a minute. We kind of jumped off on a road no, project. No, no, wait a minute. No, about raising taxes. No, but I'm asking him about reimbursement. <laughs> I'm talking to him about reimbursement. But we can wait and talk about it, man. Go ahead. Get through your taxes. I'm just talking about reimbursement of. Could that money be reimbursed? Because that would be for. Uh, Probably engineering. I think probably. Yeah. Hey, so, could tell me again. Yeah. growing and, and assessed value is increasing. Yeah. But we're also spending. Yes. Right. And we're spending faster than we're growing. Well, I do realize nobody's failed to mention that $700,000 PERS tax we're about to get tackled on this year. Uh, that Let's not forget I'm a quarter of a million to the city of Flowood either. I always enjoy saying that and bringing that up. I don't know why, but I just really do. You seem to always want to kind of forget that I'm part almost, too. I'm almost going to miss you too. If it was for that one thing, I probably would miss you. I might just come back to meetings for that. I might be you know, coming to off. Let's yeah. come back public comment. Yeah. Something over here really? right quick. All right, uh, let's move on. Point. Let's move I'm on. trying to keep us uh, categorized as to where we are in this discussion. So where we are right now, we're talking about the financing aspect. It's markedly different than what you guys were looking at previously. So I want you to focus on that part of it first. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very much different. So it appears to me that what you've just heard is that, given the structure that you were already prepared for the potential revenue is significantly higher than you thought it would be, mm -hmm. significantly higher. Uh, and so you just need to decide, I think you guys need to, to telegraph to your professionals, are we going to insist on doing a bank deal only or are we gonna go after this premium money that makes a lot of sense, while at the same time, by the way, encouraging our underwrite, underwriters to use the local banks they know how to do that. Right. Just insist that they well, make think, every effort to do it. Was there ever a question we were going with just banks? I think we started off with just bank conversations. I think that's what we proposed. Well, Jay, but now that dynamic <laughs> has changed. Why did you ask your first question? <laughs> I was. No, uh, I mean, I, I, I just assumed that we were going to go to the market, and then the okay. market was I, I had, to the banks. I, I didn't. Well, I mean, really, I thought we, for some reason, we were just leaning toward the bank. And then, well, if we're going to do that, then we don't need these gentlemen in this room. Well, I know, but I'm just saying that's what it kept coming out. So this is a whole new twist that right. we'd never heard of. It felt like because there had because been a discussion, and I may have misread all of that, Jay, mm -hmm. but the discussion as I appreciated it previously was we want the local banks to be able to participate. Did I miss that? I think, yeah. I think that was right. the implication. Right. We want them to be able to participate. The, the, what you're being told today, though, uh, essentially puts us in a position where we're going to have to use the underwriting approach There's no to, way be, it. To, to be able to take advantage. Well, the legalities of it, the size of this issuance, the structure of the issuance, the paperwork requirements, there's just not going to be a without, way for us to do what we want to do. Without getting too deep into the woods, can you explain to me, because Lindsay assured me that, you know, last time around, Howie has made a big play at the end. He wanted to buy them all. He wanted to, to do it. Uh, and she assured me that they would be made whole, that they would be offered the bonds, they would still be able to make money. Where is their, you know, where is their loss at? In this. There shouldn't be a loss, but I know sometimes <clears throat> underwriters, I'm not talking about Raymond James, underwriters buy bonds or take down bonds uh, that they didn't sell in the market. They hold those bonds. Instead of getting a $120, $1200 for that 
a thousand dollar bond, they may have to sell that bond for ninety eight hundred dollars or nine hundred and eighty dollars, nine hundred and fifty dollars to just get it out, to move it on out. So that's where they they their risk is. But once you sign that DPA and these are the rates, those rates are locked in. Whether they sell them or not, they've got to deliver you based on what they told you they would deliver them. Well, that really didn't answer my question, but uh, <clears throat> but the chance of them losing money is, is significant. Well, if it, it, it's, if it's, they lose money, it will be a significant amount of money. That's right. Well, it, it, the, the risk of them losing money is not likely. You know, it's a low probability that they they because they they know their market. They they've already pre-sold. You know, they may lose on on a portion of it, but you know. Right. Okay. They wouldn't be in the business if they, you know, going. Yeah. So, but you're, well, we're still talking about the financing side, still taking a mill out of Road and Bridge for right. two, years two years to help facilitate that something's going to work. That part of the deal is still, the, 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 the repayment is still the same scenario. That is, yes, that is part, that is that scenario, and, and I'll let, you know. Well, let me ask, uh, a, a mill, correct me that, a mill, our mill, but a bond mill would generate more money than our meal. That's correct. correct. That's right. Okay. So, all right. So the meal we take out, it's going to generate more for right. if we want it for the for, for, for the road or whatever. Right. Okay. Anything to qualify. So yes. Okay. Yeah. So okay. the the same commitment, the same debt service, the same structure. You're, you're being told under this analysis will yield significantly more in bond revenue than you anticipated. And it goes to the same scenario too, it goes, we can still vote for whatever the maximum number is. We don't necessarily have to borrow that or have to spend it. That's correct. Correct. I mean, I mean we, but, if but we, this if is we a whole it, new universe. Yeah. If we agree, we agree to a set of projects and it comes up to be 20 million or 25 million, not the 28. Then we can always scale back the, the face amount to whatever that Lord, number is. You just keep growing, don't you? <laughs> Dang. Well, well, you know, when you're spending other people's money, you know, it's just hard to stop. Well, your 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 bonds are paying off rather quickly. Your authority to issue additional bonds is in the neighborhood of 198 million dollars. Let's go. So. <laughs> Uh, you, you can tell it's not coming back. Huh? It is a very favorable interest rate market to be doing infrastructure improvements, and uh, if they don't get done, who's going to do it? Your kids? I mean, I mean, that's yeah. Yeah. Well, without a doubt, we need to do some bonds, or we're going to go broke. So, or either we just need to cut off some projects. If I can use Bob's question, I mean, you'd need to adopt an intent resolution that we'll publish for four times, and giving the public has the right to protest it. Fifteen hundred people object to it. We have different election. but we need to know, you know, an amount for that resolution. And I think I would suggest probably thirty million, and then we come back four weeks after we publish. And hopefully at that time, you'll tell us, well, we only want to issue 27 million. But we've got total flexibility until the time we actually decide how much we're going to issue. What I'd hate for you to do is not authorize enough and start the process all over again. And the whole reason we're having this meeting today is because we had a differential between 16 and a half and 18. Uh, what are we going to do? <laughs> Where are we headed now, well, guys? The only uh, question that wasn't asked last time, you said that we could go to 18, 
but when we went to 16, you said that we need to make it 16 and a half for issuance costs. Right. Well, if we went to 18, what's the issuance cost of 18? Three percent, just figure. Three. Three. I, 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 on my pro formas, I used three percent on the Bubble Bank deal. Then back down once all the cost is in. You never know. You know I, I, I'm still with John saying what he said, and y'all are saying we can do this and service it with what we have, where, what's the difference? Where, where are we not coming together here? On, on this plane, you pay your bonds out of a bonding interest bond that has, so you, you remember many years ago, you paid it out of the general bond, somewhere around 2000, mm -hmm. you paid it out of the general bond, so. Yeah, know, all of a sudden you told me that was a no-no. Well, you, 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 what you want to do is build a platform to, uh, to, to develop a capital plan. And so when you maintain the levy the same, you, you, we do roll off and roll on the levies, but you capture the increased valuations <coughs> and you generate more money in the bonding interest fund, which can only be used to pay debt service. But that allows you to do a whole lot more work quicker than waiting on getting one bond issue paid off before you go do another. It just it doesn't work. That that plan of paying it out the general fund does not work long term. So that's that's why we did it. That's why we can do it. And that's why we're not impacted. Now we would be impacted if the assessments didn't grow at one and a half percent on annual. Or if they fail 30%, but everything's going to be impacted. But I think we can do more than 30 million, but can you do it within three years? <coughs> Steve, that's I think to answer your question, <coughs> what you talked about a while ago is what he said the purge, the, the, the flow would. The, the bonus, but a, a raise, we do a raise, health care, I mean, and, and, and we've been borrowing how much out of road and bridge each year, two, two billions to, to do what we've been doing. So you add all that up, and that's what, that's what yeah. John has come up with, that we're spending more. We have been lucky enough, we've been bleeding out road and bridge. We will be at, what, a $10 million balance by the end of this year, FY? I mean, we bled through seven million dollars out of road and bridge over the last couple of years, and there's and there's proof out there to see it. Yeah. And we we've got it on our road projects, but we have just blown through it because we just thought we were printing it in the back, you know. But that that's to me is what you're telling me, right, John? Is that kind of where you are seeing what we what we've got expenditures coming, and if we're going to maintain the quality of work in our road and bridge department, there's no way we can sustain it without raising taxes. We've gone two years for the city of Flowood, you know, convention out of cap. So I mean, you know, three or four times. You're spending more than you're making. That's all I'm saying. But you can make the road on hold for just one million taxes for qualified projects. So you can do more than that. So I heard you make mention of. Thirty million. Or is that just a number out of the sky? No, no, no. Oh, it's taking where the interest rates are. Current, current interest rates, treasury rates are, and what the market is paying for that higher, but that five percent. So what you're saying, we can do 30 million within our current tax structures. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm <laughs> stuck that <laughs> blows your mind. We, well, we were looking at 16 and a half to stay at the total 18 million. And whenever John, himself, you know, and I understand we have taken money from the road, but what we've taken it for I would say the majority of it, I would say seven million over the past four years right away. 
engineering costs, stuff like that for new roads and or, or, and existing roads. I don't mean just all new. And equipment too. I mean, we and some equipment, yeah, equipment to work the roads. That uh, you know, I, I think we need to maintain the roads we have and quit spending tremendous amounts of money on engineering and right of way on roads that we don't have. I mean, that if you put all that money back in there that we spent with engineers, and Mike and his people's equipment. And well, then that seven million is probably cut in half or, or even more. But anyhow, uh, what is it? What did you tell me, Mike? The, the work orders, what is that, million and a half a year that we spend on work orders? About two and a half, two and a half million on work orders alone. Yeah, that's, that's just and that doesn't take consideration your overlay, right? And, and yeah, other stuff, yep. you know, and we know, and we live and die by work orders, well, and, and, that was, and that was kind of my discussion and argument several meetings ago back in the past of the whole situation was the reason we needed to make some kind of decision on it because all these projects that are going down the, the tube is what's coming out of the road budget right now. Right. So what needs to happen is either the projects need to stop and let him do his summer work plan on the budget because what's happening is we can't get any work done in the county because we're spending it all on those projects, which is four and a half million set to come out of this year's budget just on projects if we don't address the right. bond issue or stop it on the two. Yeah. That's my argument several meetings ago when I was explaining to you. Yeah. We need to give him direction because we're going to lose the summer on well, stuff that needs to be done. Well, it's not just that. It's work orders, too. That's so, no doubt. Well, I don't know I'm why gonna, you say lose the summer because he could be working. I mean, weather well, well, work now. Well, he can. But he's, but, not, he's already budgeted. He all right, but he's budgeted. You're correct. He's budgeted, but the money's already spent on these projects, not for the other stuff. Yeah. We haven't Where, spent the money on the projects well, yet. Well, well, it's, well, but it's in there. But, but it's, it's, in there. it's been approved to do I mean, it. I mean, we're getting, ready, we're getting ready to approve those projects. Exactly. But, and that's assuming that we agree with what these guys tell us hey, how we can. We yeah. are spending money through right away. We are, absolutely. Yeah, but you're not talking about very much yeah. right now. Through right Over away. a million bucks. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, well, it sounds not, like to me no. Santa Claus came early this year. Yes, uh, so. We put a million in Gunner Road. Mm -hmm. So anyway, well, right away. Eight, well, no, I'm talking about engineers. All the things no, that go with Gunner Road have been a million dollars. You're talking about we're, we're not about locked in. Okay. To eight hundred thousand. You're, you're saying we right have some saying. It's not right against everything. I agree. So so acquiring all the things. It's not right. Just about everything we want out of this. That the whole purpose is to let you guys know that that the revenue side of this is different from what you've heard previously yeah. therefore when you start getting really serious about projects yeah you needed to know what what can we spend right. and not and impact over this one or that one or this right. one or that one right it's a different discussion in my opinion now about all these other projects in relation to what the revenue will support that's why we wanted y'all to hear that first but they need us to make a decision, try to make a decision today on that issuance amount so we can go ahead and start that process. Well, I, thought right. we did I thought, that I thought we already meeting. did that. No, sir, we've got to have. vote to approve? We no, did sir. 16 no, sir. and a half. We, remember, y'all shut me down on 18, went back to 16 and a half, and y'all brought it back up to go back up to 18. Right. But then we came we did the doctor what we proved. We did now the doctor here. resolution. Yeah, you, we had a resolution ready. That we were going to sign today. Pulled. That's right. But now, right. though, is the point in time where we set the number, there is no backing up. That's right. Wrong. I mean, well, no, we can always, we don't have to spend the no. entire 30. No, if we, if we say 30, we can back up. No. He did say that. Oh, well, yeah, oh, we yeah. could say 30 as long as we don't go above 30. That's right. We no, I understand that. Yeah, no. No. What, uh, you mentioned a number higher than 30. Is there, is there a number higher than, than this uh, debt well, service? You, as far as the intent, you can go higher. We but you got to add millage to we it. Will, we will recommend not going beyond your revenue stream to pay for Gotcha. Yeah. Well, that's sure. well, all right, that's what make sure I'm where we are today. We don't work on that. Which is where we are today. That's right. That's 16. No, with 30, if you, if you go this way, you'd be at 16. How in the yeah. world did we get to 30 where the other day we were 16 and a half? Because of the premium right. you're talking about. It was a uh, somebody. Yep. Yeah. Get a little coffee. Got any bourbon in there? Uh, Please. No premium at all. And if there's not any. How we can this is 15 here with the premium. 15 years that the market will... 
it, it puts you in a different ballpark of investor. And they like what you're selling and they're willing to pay you more money to buy it. It's that but, simple. I mean, we need to be realistic. We got to pay it back at some point. And well, I bet we got the money. Are um, you getting ready to pony in some? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go. You go. Pull out a roll. Bring that cash over there. Pull out a roll. All right. I mean, he's saying. I mean, if I'm correct, I'll say it one more time. The millage, the the, the five point six three mills that we're generating will will pay the debt service on a thirty million dollar bond for how many years? Fifteen years. Fifteen year and bond. Are, and you're not gonna have that six point whatever mills for two years. Then it falls back to where you are. Yes, this is all going crooks on the but you have four point six three assigned to bond and interest category. Four point six three mills is already sitting there right now today. You add one mill from Road and Bridge to bond and interest to go to 5.63, and that debt services up to a $30 million issuance for the first two years. You put the 1% of Road and Bridge back where it belongs, and the 4.63 that's currently in bond and interest will debt service for the remaining 13 years of the term. During those first two years, our road is going to be whole, even though. We've taken that meal out. The, the theory that we're working from today, Steve, is that we will take some portion that we're allowed to under the law of the bond revenue, which at the moment appears to be significantly more than we thought it could be, yep. and move that into the appropriate categories of, oh, under the road that's, department. That's budget. eligible. Yes, sir. That's eligible. And that <coughs> would offset that reduced revenue in the road and bridge from the bond proceeds. And of course, they, he would get all of that, on, presumptively, he'd get all of it on the front end. So because we already, there, yeah. right. we right. already have somewhere we else. We have the money, it's back. there. There's qualified projects that it can be assigned to. And that would, theoretically, that would make the road department whole for those first two years out of the bond revenue. Same way with the cities. Yes, and, this, and, and the thought process behind that is we, we've got to work with them about projects. Yep. Okay. Yep. Because it would be bond revenue. So but, they would have to have a designated project in order to receive their two hundred fifty thousand yes. dollars we give them a year or whatever. And the number of course, oh, why would they have to have, we give it to them anyway? Why yeah. do we? Why would they have to have designated project? Because it's not money that's yeah. coming out of the road and bridge millage at that point. It's bond. So if they don't have a project designated for it, they wouldn't get any money from us. That no, no, wait a minute. Why couldn't you still take it out of road and bridge, though? You could still take it out of it. Yeah. Because you're offsetting it with. Uh, if I get a million dollars. Only you, things we got designated as projects. But we're off. We'll have it to offset. Only if it's project related, correct? If you're going to use the bond revenue, but there's other ways that we can skin the cat. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I can guarantee you every city has overlay projects. You can rest assured you can supplement that with an overlay project in every city within a three year period. Does that have to be, de at what point does that have to be designated and what the project is? On the front end? We don't have to designate the projects. I mean, I think the board needs, I think as a board as a whole, we need to designate the project, but nothing for the bond council. We, this is all going to, you You classified what the, Drainage, road construction, building construction, really whatever. Land. What does this mean for us? We just need, well, they, they just need to know today that 30 million, 25, out, whatever. Anything. And I'll make the motion at 30 million. Wait, can Bob, can we, he, he said he had three scenarios. Can we see what the other oh, two are? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, by all means. That, yeah, I'm sure. All right, you, that's one some scenario. You said you had three, I think. Oh, well, this is, the, the other was just kind of related to what you could do without the one, which is virtually nothing. It is nothing. You don't have to use $2 million a year, money each year to supplement it. Doesn't make any sense doing that. This is the, uh, this is the best solution. All right, I, let me ask you, Mike. You have 
had to use about two million dollars for the last couple of years to fund your roads in addition to the budget. And I mean, we've had extreme weather conditions in the last two years with more water than we've ever had in two years. Uh, but with this, will you have to, I mean, can we cut it off with your budget when if we fund you the way that we have been talking? I, I think so, if I'm hearing everything right, so, you know, I mean, we won't have, we get this going, we're going to have right away acquisitions coming out of us, all these engineering, extra engineering fees coming out of us. I mean, they'll be assigned to projects instead of just directly coming out of my budget, like they've been doing for like yeah. two to three years. Wanda, is there any way possible between now and Wednesday to determine what eligible expenses would be able to be reimbursable back to the road bridge out of the bond? Is that so or, is that too, or is that too tight a timeline? Say it again. What you want to know? How much money will actually come back to Road oh. and Bridge that's reimbursable out of the projects we've done? How yeah. much How much yeah. hard dollars could we say? Some, like Andrew Chapel. Some of the whatever, Whatever's out there that yeah. we've spent. Yeah. You know, I mean, even the little Thomas Field or the, that little right. project down there. I mean, whatever's reimbursable, by, it, it, it's the prudent thing to do. I mean, isn't that the prudent thing to do, man? Try to get as much reimbursable expense on the front end to put back into it, and then that leaves us a net number to work off future capital and construction, you know? So uh -huh. we make we make road and bridge, that road and bridge as whole as we can, you know, with what we got. Figure out what that number is. Whatever that number is, right. and, and, and try to do that, and that tells us. But it's only going to be, she needs to know, it's only for engineering, it can't be, can't be for right of way. And it no. needs to be no. the, a project that's still ongoing. Well, not well, I think you can do in, you can do right engineering from Andrew Chapel and Holly. I mean Holly Bush, excuse me, Holly Bush and yeah. Andrew Chapel. Yeah, the, the ones that and Gunner. Yes, you can do Gunner, Andrew Chapel, and Holly Bush mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. engineering. Yeah, I mean well, the any, pro any, any of these any projects. Yeah, any of these well, I know, but I'm just saying it's for engineering. That's that's what I'm talking I didn't want her to look at right. But any of these all. projects, it's kind of like that Thomasville Don't Road right. thing. I mean. Let's we listen, probably spent a hundred. Listen to Steve. I want. I want Steve to give a little bit more clarity about how the bond revenue can be assigned to ongoing current road projects. Well, I, I think what to answer Bob's question. I mean, if you go back on the projects that are ongoing and determine what the engineering and planning have been for those projects, then that's an amount of money that you could reimburse. Your road and bridge fund for. So we that should be we fairly can, easy to determine. I yeah, think. Should, mm -hmm. we can sit down and actually look at that as a category and figure out which of the road projects have planning services, engineering related services, to them yeah. and assign it. Do we, so the have long we spent short of it is anything above sixteen and a half million dollars, we're going to pay taxes on. Eventually, we'll pay taxes. Thank you. So, where did you get off saying there's going to be a tax increase? I didn't say that. They didn't say that. Thank you. It's, it's anticipated, guys, that that we cannot continue to take two and a half million dollars of cash and move it over to Road and Bridge to help fund the operation of Road and Bridge. Oh, Park. we know that's coming to an end. That's come so, to an end. I, mean, yes. I think we yeah. agreed 10 right. million was so, our... I don't know that John necessarily has heard that exactly. stated <clears throat> as clearly as you just stated it. Uh, John, that may be the first time you've heard that's coming to an end. So if we say we're that's not going it's to not continue moving again. cash over to Road and Bridge. Then we bought some additional time beyond what John is probably waving the flag of warning about. We may have bought even some more time, but the day is coming when just the general cost that's of cool. running this rat killing we call Rankin County is going to outstrip 40.24 mills. It's just coming. Cost more to hire folks, 
Uh, Mike added two crews over the last, what, three years? Two, two, two to three years? So we, our population is precisely and rooftops. With good reason, we might say, I mean, we can all make more roof. Hey, yeah. there's something we can show for this uh, effort that has been made to make sure that we have a top notch road park. There's something to be said for that because you can drive around the county well, and see the evidence we, of it. We have a top notch sheriff's department, top Correct. notch ambulance service, top notch road. And, and those services cost people value that. Yeah. They cost money. So I think what John's trying to say is this 40.24 with a conservative growth rate gets you so far. And what we're seeing, just the, the symptoms that we're seeing, is that we're having to pull pretty heavily from cash on an annual right. basis to, to do what we're doing, to, to deliver the services that's expected. It's taken us pulling pretty hard out of cash. That's why John's waving the flag. <clears throat> we probably need to consider at some point resetting that millage that we ask folks to pay so that we're not having to pull out of cash to cover everything. If they are expecting the services at that level, then they need to pay the millage at that level. We have to introduce that to them slowly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're, so you're that they asking, understand. So it's, it's not, I'm not going to say that we're being unfair because this is all a great discussion to have in my opinion. But these professionals right here are trying to advise you on a very narrow scope, which is what will your debt service cost allow you to issue to that. so that you can get a lot of projects that are otherwise going to have to come be, and be paid from somewhere else that you could use this revenue stream to cover those things. And what they're telling you is, we thought it was going to be 16, we thought it was possibly 18. Then we looked at a different way to finance this in a market that's very favorable to Rankin County today. And we see that we can generate significantly more money than that. Well, we just really doubled the term. So you're doubling I mean, it, the money. It, it seems to me like you might want to think about this in that by doing a deal somewhere in the name somewhere around what Lynn has suggested, you're actually, in my mind, delaying having to make the tax increase. Correct. Because you're taking care of these needs with these bond proceeds without a tax increase. I mean, and that time's coming in August when we sit down to discuss next FY, determine you know, how much money we got coming in, how much we got going out. And and somebody we, won't be here. That's where we get paid the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think did. I think Lynn made the comment the other two scenarios we know. I, mean, I made the motion, the motion stood out there on my part that we issue an amount not to exceed thirty million dollars. I don't know if there's any more questions or not. We need to keep moving this thing forward. Uh, All right, we have a motion by Bob, thirty million. Is there a second? Oh come on, somebody second <laughs> it. Good. I, I, want, I want to know I mean when we do a fifteen year bond, I just feel like that there's going to be time somewhere between now and 15 years, maybe in seven years or 10 years, that we have other things. And are we tied up? I mean, we can't, because we went 15 years. I mean, our roads don't last 15 years before we have to resurface them. So, and we're. How much debt rolls up? How much between in 15 years? I mean, can you say like in five years this amount rolls off in 10 hey, years? Hey, Bob, I'll, I'll split it with you. I'll do 20. I'm sticking uh, with I'll second. Well, I don't, well why, what about issuing that and then we can come back? I mean, do, what they're asking is to say that. Okay, then we can come back and, and I'm close the gap. I'm willing to spend up to 30 million. No, no, what I'm well, saying, fine, we but can come back. just one vote. Yeah. Right, let's put it to a vote. No, what I mean, I'm saying, Jay, we, when we come back and actually decide to issue, we can actually short it. Land. Okay. We're well, not committed we, to it right now. All of your existing debt rolls off. It's paid off in 2032. Debt falls off. All right. Incrementally. Five years. Say, so go five years from now. Five years from now. Because you're talking about 11 years right there. All uh, right, let's see. You're dropping off. 13. In 2024, you're dropping off from 5.4 to 3.4. Wow. Half of You have a lot of to do this, to, 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 to issue bonds, 
Tell me, tell me a scenario at twenty. How do you split the difference at twenty, Jay? Why? How do you split the difference at twenty? We're at sixteen. We're at eighteen. Tell me, tell me a scenario at twenty million dollar bond. No, we're at thirty. Does the numbers? Tell me how the numbers change. You said you split the difference at twenty. Can you do it with interest? The difference would be like twenty-four. The twenty is the max I'm willing to get. Put it that way. Okay, that's fine. That'd be the lowest you could go with that. You like saying, what was your question? You give me a scenario with twenty million rather than thirty million. I can't help the top of my head. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're generating thirty million dollars in project right. off of twenty eight million a dollar. Okay. So how many? You don't pay right at twenty million. Twenty two, maybe twenty one. Maybe. Please, Jay. Sorry. He gave, he gave, he figured all right. that out there. Jay threw the number 20 out there. At 20, we would have somewhere around 18. But if you go out and get 10, and 30, we can work through all of these scenarios to get ready to say how much you're going to The 30 million just starts the newspaper, not necessarily you, Chuck, but starts the conversation in the public. That's the $30 million bond. That's correct. That's what opens the floodgates of the $30 million bond is the discussion because most of them are going to read possible $30 million bond, and they're not going to read anything else. Well, yeah, they're going to say the same at 20. Yeah. Yeah, just, I mean, I've been read down that in row before. Yeah. And, and you know how it works. If, if we have, uh, if I have $15 in my pocket by Saturday, I'm going to spend all that $15 probably. If I if I have 30, I'm going to probably spend 30, uh, especially if Jay gives it to me. So, uh, the flip side of the coin is that if you say that the issuance is not to exceed $20 million, and we work through these projects and discover that if we had had 21, we could have cleared all of this that we're talking about out, would have been nice if oh, we had, I, had 21. I think we could spend 100. Oh, no doubt. But I think you're going to have the same pushback at 20, you're going to have it at 30. I don't think it's going to make same, any difference. 20 or 30 is not going to make any difference as far as the pushback. Right, I, mean, I say 18. 18. <laughs> People like that 18. Well, let's do this. Let's do this then. Let's, we can put this off longer. Why don't we keep putting it off? The, the chance the market may change again. We may lose its premium. But if you want to, let's go ahead and push the 30. And let's have the, not the 15th, but the last meeting in May, the, that, that meeting, I almost said work session, and uh, have a discussion of what projects we want to do, and let's finalize the thirtieth. I mean, if it's twenty-two million, then we say okay, we're doing it thirty, but we're going. The board has voted on whatever vote. That, that here's the project. Here's the estimated cost. This is what we're going to do. I kind of thought that's what we were going to do today. Well, I thought so too, but well, we're yeah, looking at between know, eighteen and, and thirty. Right here. You know, so we got to give. You know, we can still do that. Uh, but I think it kind of opens up the box for a bit because a road was thrown at me a week ago, another road. So, you know. So, it, but, it does you know. change. I mean, it changes everything. All right. So, does it affect it if we say we only take $18 million on a bond? Even though you're advertising 30, does it affect your numbers if we only go to $18 million worth of projects? The intent, that's, that, that's the maximum. I wouldn't be getting anything up to 30 million. You could come back and do a second deal if you wanted to. I mean, you could do a year from now. Yeah. You could come back. You, and could, say, you hey, could do twenty. You authorize thirty million. You only issue twenty, and then maybe you get with the premium another million and a half. So you have twenty-one and a half, and that that would be after netting out the costs. And then you could come back a year from now because you've got the authorization for an additional 10 and issue an additional 10 at that point in time. And Lynn, I don't think. Yeah, two years. Two years from the date that we adopt the second resolution. The second? Yeah, we, we noticed we, we adopt the intent resolution, we publish it, and then we adopt the second resolution when you have a public hearing. So it's two years from, so hypothetically, if we adopt it on June uh, 17 would be the prospective yeah. date if everything times out right. Now, Lynn, how does that affect the repayments? Well, 
really has very, very insignificant yeah. impact on the, depending on the interest rates in the market. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the interest rate could be a point more a year from now. Yeah. Or less. Oh. Or, absolutely. I mean, there, there are things that suggest next spring that and, it may be going down. And, and, and the advantage on an underwritten bill like this and working with an underwriter, we're working through the market routinely. We know what our revenue stream is. We're not going to advise you to issue more bonds from beyond that. Or you will make some decision and then go ahead and issue, but you know what you know what the, you know the deal is, you know what you're really paying. So it's not like we have to wait until we open bids to find out, you know, what what our debt payment's going to be. We don't know that before. Let's right. make it 20. Get it going. Hey, Come on. Put a couple of million dollars in that drain. Come on. Well, the, the first part is sure. Hey, and the, the, be, the best part of that is since we've got the hall bond gone now, we're going to need this extra $30 million. Yeah. Yeah. You know that y'all <laughs> killed my hall bond. We're going to have to spend that money. I agree I'll with you. It. Yep. So I'll second Bob, but I, I want to add one other what thing too. What are you too. seconding Bob on? To advertise for $30 million? Yes. All right. So listen to me a second. Hang on a minute. Let, let me say this on the same point. The only other thing I want to I'm mention. Sorry, I got to turn back on my ear now. You turn it back on. <laughs> turn it back on a second. And automatically got turned off. Just switch it back. Get another swig of that over there and just bear with me a second. All right, so the other part of this I want to bring up I want the, the existing project money that's coming out of Mike's budget to stop. All this stuff, these projects that are possible that are out there, the money that's coming out of his budget right now from all the different services that are coming out, we're draining the budget that's not intended to be drained. For projects but to that, stop. That money has already been budgeted in. I get what it, you're saying. It hadn't, though. But let's just say this. Let's say let's compromise then and say, end of May, 1st of June meeting, if we agree to stop funding the Andrew Chapel or the Gunner Road project, then it stops. But that should not, we don't halt those projects for the sake of, of trying to save two or three weeks of, of money. But if, if those projects are not voted on to fund out of this bond project, then it stops. Every bit of it. But every bit of it stops. I don't stops. think that's Cut. what he's referring to. Huh? I think he's referring to these one-offs like as in our work orders. Our daily work orders costing us over $2 million a year. Well, we, we, we got to keep doing that. Just the own constant, own No, no, we can't, we can't. And, and we can't half of which wait, are wait, nothing. Wait, wait. Half of which are nothing. How we, many work orders you got over there? Yeah. I have seven. I got 64. <laughs> well, yeah. 64. I'm really sorry like cool that, 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 you know. That I got that many work orders. <laughs> I'm sorry they take care of me a little better than they do. <laughs> hey, I agree with you. I agree with you. Mr. President, Mr. President, I have a first and yes. a second. On I have a first. Uh, Bob, I uh, made a motion. Uh, Daniel seconded. I don't do we need any more discussion? If I could just clarify. Yeah, I want to clarify what the motion is yeah, first motion, off. Second. The motion is that the intent resolution, which is nothing more than a statement of this board to the public, that you intend to issue up to and not exceeding thirty million dollars of a bond issue will be adopted on the fifteenth and will be published in the newspaper four times. There'll be a hearing date set on June seventeenth public can come and speak on it, oppose it, get a petition together, all of that. That's what's on the table, $30 million in that issuance. That does not mean that you are issuing $30 million in bonds. Right. You are simply saying it will not exceed that. That's what you're voting on. Right, and for the same side of that, we got a timetable on when we're going to identify these projects. I say by the, what is the first June meeting? Uh, I want January. projects identified before we get into June. We vote June, we vote June 3rd on a list of projects Correct. to be funded by this thing. So at the last meeting of May, then you, if you've got anything you want to adjust, put in, whatever else, it, it comes in. in. That's right. It's got to be. Vote on June 3rd. So we have a list of projects. We show it June 17th, public hearing. Yep. If anybody comes up and asks questions, this is what we're spending the money on. Exactly right. right. That, that's I'm with you on that. If okay. we can tie that into the motion, that's okay. what I'm saying. Some sort of um, some sort of itemization of uh, the projects that have been ongoing, that have planning related costs in them, and what that reimbursement back to Road and Bridge out of the potential bond would be. We'll try to get you a, a total amount that is 
reimbursement to Road and Bridge from ongoing projects related to planning, engineering type services. Okay, we'll try to get that number for you. All right, let me ask you one other final question. Well, I got two good attorneys in here. Let's just say we get to three. Jay, I'm sorry. No, I about Bishop. no, Craig. Craig's an attorney. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Good, Jay, I, are you an attorney? I didn't know that. No. Oh, I mean, oh, we got, oh, we got okay. Bishop. Oh, I thought I thought both of them. Were. Steven, it's, okay. right, so look, here's my question. Let's just say we get to the June whatever date meeting, and we all come up with that we cannot get along on any of these projects. And we say, I tell you what we're going to do, none of them. We're going to go right back, stop all projects, continue back on the way we were. We'll go down the route of raising taxes, get us back balanced out, squared up, and the bond never happens. No obligation, no obligation to continue at this point. Right. It can still stop. We don't even take any bond money, and we go right along at that point. All right, perfect. All right, Mr. President, I think there's a, there's a uh, way to vote. A motion, second, any other discussion now? All right, all in favor? Aye. Uh, 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 any opposed? Aye. Uh, Tell Bishop we're voting. That'll be 3 2. Uh, 3 2. All right, yeah. motion passes. All right, what else we need to do today? Anything? Uh, I don't, there's, Wait a minute. there's Wait a minute. Section for additional business. There's a section for executive session. I'm not aware of anything for executive session. Let me call Bishop see if we can get past. <laughs> All right. Wanda, do you have anything? I don't right now. I have. I would. I got. Royally screwed up. I have missed I my reservation. I got. I got. A, I got one thing I want to ask about. What? Right quick. Maybe wait till Wednesday. Uh -huh. okay, wait yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make a motion, Mr. President, to recess March 15th, uh, May 15th, May 15th, 15th 9 a.m. Second. Right. Bob makes a motion, second. recess um, till May 15th. Daniel seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Motion passes. We Drop have recessed. I told hey, you like to go. When we do this, he's getting everything. We're going to